Hello my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. And in this week's video, I want to address a question that I get in my Tableau classes a lot, which is what dashboard size should you pick? Um, so what am I talking about? Well, when you create a dashboard, uh, one of the first things that you need to decide is what size do you want to make that dashboard, okay? Um, so this is a example dashboard we made with one of our great clients, the Auburn School District. So shout out to you all. Thanks for letting us de-identify the data and, and use some of these examples uh, in our videos. So there are kind of three primary options that you have uh, when it comes to sizes. You have fixed size where you just say it's going to be this many pixels by this many pixels. That's it. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, you have automatic where it's just always going to expand and contract to fit the screen size. Also straightforward with, it, but we'll talk about why that might be problematic. And then you have range sizes where you can indicate a minimum and or maximum size to your range uh, of your dashboard. So you can say, don't let it get smaller than this or don't let it get bigger than this. Okay. So personally, I'll just speak for myself here to try and keep things somewhat simple and uniform. I try to pick fixed sizes. The tricky thing about that is you don't always know how a fixed size is going to hit for your end users, right? What device are they using? How, you know, how big is their screen? Do they want to have to scroll back and forth? Or now is it tiny because they've got a really high resolution desktop? So there are some drawbacks to that, but the biggest benefits to a fixed size is you don't have to worry about floating objects moving around, which I'm definitely team tiled objects. I try not to float stuff if I don't have to, uh, but definitely floating objects can do funny things and move around when you publish it or when the dashboard size changes. Um, and then the other thing is you just don't have to worry about any scaling issues. So what I mean by that, some things in Tableau scale naturally very well. Like if a bar chart is this big, but then it has to scale down to this size, well, the bars just adjust, right? They just get shorter or smaller, whatever it may be. Um, but there are also things that do not scale, such as text size. So if your dashboard title is size 30 font, it's just size 30 font. That is not a scalable um, uh, object, I guess you would say, right? So for example, like right now, it just defaulted to some fixed size of 1157 by 736. Okay, whatever. So if I flip this to automatic and then I make, you know, this window really, really small, okay, it's going to try and continue to cram the entire dashboard in there, which is not a great vibe, right? That's probably not really what we're going for. Now, the benefit would be if it's on a much bigger screen, now it has a lot of room to breathe. So trade-offs. I may use automatic for a presentation where I've already tested it on the monitor that I'm using, but I'm probably a lot less likely to publish it into a production dashboard where I just don't know the sizes of people's screens. So like I said, I most often lean fixed. Um, I, I would say it depends. Usually my width is somewhere between like 1100 and 1400. Uh, I would say the height is kind of, this is kind of optimizing for my screen, but it's usually somewhere in the ballpark of 800, might be 750, might be 900 but somewhere around there. Uh, I'm sure that you could test it and figure out what's the optimized screen size for you and your users. Um, I'm really not opposed to a range size though either because the cool thing about that is that, so you could build it as essentially a fixed size, right? I could say, okay, let me make this thing uh, 1200 by 750, you know, do some testing and say, yeah, heck yeah, man, this thing looks pretty good, um, and, but, but uh, I don't have a problem with this thing getting bigger. I don't want it to get smaller than this because then stuff's going to start getting cut off and we're going to end up with a lot more scroll bars. So, you know, I think things look pretty nice here. I have a little scroll bars personally. I think if I went into the presentation mode here, I probably wouldn't. So that looks pretty nice. Uh, let me hit escape and get out of that. But I would have no problem with saying, okay, let's get ready to publish here. And we're going to set a minimum of 1200 by 750. We already tested that and know that looks nice, but no maximum. You have some crazy monitor. You want to blow this thing up really big? By all means, that's probably not going to hurt anything. So uh, that would be my recommendation. I, again, if you're comfortable with range or you, you know, kind of think to use that, I would kind of say, I like to design in fixed size to make sure everything looks good. You want to flip it to range before you publish, sweet. You want to do automatic? You live in a little bit on the wild side. I used to I used to live that life a little bit more, but I feel like I just got burned a couple too many times. So 
there you go. I hope that's a helpful introduction to the world of dashboard sizing. I would love to hear from you. Like, what do you use? Do you use automatic? Do you want to, you know, uh, argue your point on that? There, there may be some really great benefits to that, but I'm just speaking from, you know, my personal experience of 10 years of working with Tableau, building dashboards, publishing, optimizing for users. Again, really just personal experience. So um, thanks for following along with this video. We drop new videos every single week about Tableau and data and related topics. If you ever want to work with us directly, kind of help you with your dashboards or data prep, whatever it may be, we have office hours. Um, you can book one to work directly with us. And we also have classes. So if you ever want to really master Tableau, and really master this world of data, uh, you can dive deep with us over you know, a multi-day period. So um, thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks.